the 25th of November 2023. You're welcome back to Real True Education, not fake news. Dublin Ablaze, Dublin Ablaze, last Thursday night, the 23rd of November. A so called Irishman who's from Algeria, one of the most uh, uh, violent, less heavily Muslim, law, lawless places there is. I was in several Arab states. If you attack a woman or a child, they'll bring you out, they'll put a rope around your neck and a crane and hang you up by the crane a, ha a, a hundred metres up in the air and leave you dangling there for two days. And the criminals know this and they want out and they're being told to come to Ireland. You'll get the dole, 220 euros a week. You'll get a house. You'll be looked after. And if anyone says boo to you, they'll be jailed. They'll be jailed. Now, the next thing was a few people classified as right wing. And Herman Kelly was on GB News and he, he put it in perspective. Oh, they're right wing. Right wing. Because we get angry because a, a, t a lovely teacher and three lovely kids go to Gale School learning their native language are attacked by a knife wielding lad like that. And we're right wing. You'll get Farad there on YouTube oh, with his old push puppies and his ew, ew. Now, in, in the ensuing uh, riot, a crowd of immigrants, migrants moved in and they started to loot. They, I don't believe the ordinary patriotic Irish that were kicking up the racket looted anything. They may have done some damage. But of course, the, a lot of them, as far as what I can see from the film, is uh, there, were, there were lads that's in here from abroad. They went bananas and ro robbed all they could. Now, the next thing is Mary Lou MacDonald, the Sinn Féin leader, has condemned the Garda Commissioner and told him to resign. She, he's, he, she says she has no confidence in the Minister for Justice. Right? But it's not for pre not preventing the attack. There is no way the Gardaí could know some fellow with a knife was going to go mad on Parnell Square. But she expects them to know. Oh, we know. Oh, we know it. Oh. This is the leader of a party who evolved out of and are still connected with the remains of a wound down and disarmed IRA. They shot Detective Garda Jerry McCabe in the back when he was minding public money going out to social welfare recipients in Limerick. Ruthlessly killed him. They didn't have to do it. They killed Detective Garda Seamus Quaid down in Wexford. They put a bomb in Port Leash. They killed Garda uh, Michael Clerken and blinded Garda Peters, who only died recently. They shot Garda, uh, recruit Garda, uh, um, um, Gary Sheehan in Ballinamore in 1983. And they shot Private Patrick Kelly dead at the same time in November 1983. Granted, they disarmed and they did disarm more or less. That's, that's something to be happy about. But she has some neck having pressurised the guards and cost taxpayers millions trying to police these mad, mad fillets to come out and criticise the guards. When her own party's policy is to pack Ireland full of migrants. She has a cohort up there in Belfast, Declan McCarney, I think he is, he's a Declan Kearney. He's a prospective politician in the north for Sinn Féin. He said he wants full multiculturalism in Ireland. I know some of the bios in Sinn Féin headquarters and they're Marxist, cultural Marxist, communist mad. Jerry Adams would lick the boots of Fidel Castro and loved him dearly and loved his politics. That is the reality. Mary Lou and her party craves this. I seen her saying herself, don't blame the migrants, blame the government for the housing crisis. So if we do get a grip on the housing crisis, she's going to fill the houses with migrants from Timbuktu. Now, in the media, the media is completely corrupt, completely woke, and 
Herman Kelly of the Irish Freedom Party was on GB News and you'll get him there on GB News. And he makes the point about calling these people right wing. I don't know what they call me. They haven't labelled me right wing, but with the soon will. Now remember, up until 2004, 2004, nobody got into Ireland without passing through the Gardaí and the Department of Justice check. And they were checked and some of them were sent home. Now they can come en masse in the dead of night in buses with the government making sure they get in. Now I have made the point that with men from Ukraine that maybe some of them have to try and get away from being put into the meat grinder of Zelensky's machine but don't forget our government backs Zelensky to the hilt and he's the one that's killing these people. So that is my tuppence halfpenny worth on it. Young people who are going to vote for Sinn Féin, you are complicit in destroying our country. There is nothing anywhere in the old uh, Irish nationalists like Wolf Tone or O'Connell or anything else that craved this. The British tried this and we eventually shook them off. And here it's imposed on us again. It looks like Ireland can never get away from the, cr cr the cross of mass migration that we can't have our government promise us houses or jobs and our children can't get houses it's for somebody in Africa in Timbuktu in Pakistan Mongolia all welcoming and we have our own people and very decent people I have to say some of them friends of my own oh we must be welcoming we must be welcoming this is the problem we have. We had an invasion in the 1700s with the plantation of Ireland and Ulster and we're still reeling from the effects 300, 200 and 300 years on. We'll never overcome this unless we stand up and the only way I know to stand up is to follow the example of the Dutch. They are slowly realising that you'll never solve this by conventional politics, you have Gert Wilders elected. He got 37% of the vote in Holland, by my count. You had a fella called Mealy, a bit of a mad fella, but very much anti this anyway, uh, elected recently and made the Prime Minister of Argentina. You have Georgina Maloney in Italy. And slowly but surely, we will see France under Mar Marine Le Pen. And it would be great if someday Nigel Farage was the British Prime Minister. But slowly but surely, this is the only way. And we have to work at it, not by roaring on the street, but by trying to convince our neighbours. Do not vote for Fianna Fáil because they fixed a pothole or the gotcha pension to which you're entitled to. We have to abandon these people. We have to get them out. They will never improve. If we could get enough to form a minority, uh, we would be able to do something. For example, you look at the impact of the Greens on this government. There are only, there's only 12 TDs out of 158. And look what they're able to do. Destroy the farming, destroy our, 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 our electricity grid and cause mass migration. If we could get some people elected, it would be a start. And it would at least keep out these woke cultural Marxist crowd. I don't see one senior Fine Gael, one senior Fianna Fáil TD or politician come out and say this. What is wrong with them? What is the story? Um, I, are they saying I'm right wing? I'm right wing? Huh? People, young couples, love to have a house and settle down. And the house is given to someone from Timbuktu. Anyway, that's my view on Mary Lou and Sinn Féin. They are hypocrites. They are hypocrites and they're mad, mad socialist. They are more socialist than Castro ever was. They loved the Soviet Union when it was there. They hate capitalism. They hate the people earning their own living. They hate our system. And it's amazing that we have communist Sinn Féin, communist Fine Gael, communist Fianna Fáil, communist Green Party, and then you have the people before puberty as well. Like this is the choice we actually have in Ireland. All communist, left-wing, woke, cultural Marxist, 
nutters all led by the nose by RTE. I think they give them something like 30 million there the other day by radio television. And only GP News allowed Herman Kelly of the Irish Freedom Party get on and make have his say. That's it. So comment underneath. Let me know what you think. Let me know where, where, where I'm wrong. And if anyone wants a debate or anyone wants to come along and debate this and tell me I'm wrong, well, then I will take part, part gladly in that debate. Folks, that's it. I'll let you go. It's very sad. But let's pray that the little children and the little girl, I think it is, will only five. Let's pray she survives. God, I hope she survives. I hope she'll survive. This time we got lucky. We have up to 30 to 40 of these attacks scheduled over the next five or six years. Maybe a little longer than that. It's going to be two to three attacks per year, all carried out by migrants from other countries who have a do totally different culture to us, a totally different attitude to women to us, and a totally di uh, different attitude to religion and everything else. That's the reality. That's the way it is. And now they're bringing out HB laws to criminalise me, to criminalise me, a lad with his roots stuck firmly in the soil of rural Ireland, make me a criminal. That is the situation that we are in. So give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, or we'll see if you don't agree. We'll see you back for something else soon. Thank you.